Hello ladies and gents, in this video we will inspect how sorting and filtering works in UI5 when we are working with OData version 2. Remember when we had a JSON model for our products we had already implemented sorting and filtering and if we just try to sort our list for example by a product name you will see that it works or let's sort it by price, descending we see that it also works, we can even filter it, let's say only give the price between 10 and 50, you'll see that it also works. Now this is great news because that means no matter which model we use, JSON or all data, UI5 takes care of everything for us under the hood. Now let's take a closer look on how this looks. For our all data requests, let me just refresh the page. So we have a fresh page, and in the networks tab, we have our products request here. Now let's sort our list by price in an ascending way, which is the default, by the way, and send the request. Now let's check, and we will see some percentage. 20 etc here because this is URL encoded so let's decode it quickly in our console decode URI and let's just paste our URL now we have our skip and top URL parameters and we have an order by parameter here and the value is price and with a space between we see ASC which stands for ascending we can also test it via our browser, so if I copy this URL and paste it in a new tab, we can see the results and if I remove this ASC along with the space, we will get the exact same result. You can also play with it and let's try the descending one for example. And now we will see DESC instead of ASC. As for filtering, it's very similar. I will again refresh. And if we filter by price, first if we try to filter by category, it will fail because we are using the product entity set. And if we check again our metadata and our entity type product, we see that there is no category attribute here, just a navigation property. And we will talk about this and fix this filtering by category in the next video. So this will fail for now, but that's okay. Again, refresh and let's filter by price and say we want those only less than 10. And here we have the count request again before our actual request and as for our actual request let's again decode this so it's cleaner and this time we have dollar filter query parameter and an equal sign and the value consists of three pieces first one is the path of our filter the second one is the operator and since we selected less than it's LT and then we selected 10 so we see 10 as value here. Now let's add another filter so we have two let's add the between 10 and 50 and check out this one I think I copied the wrong one. Yes, that's the old one. And if we decode this, now we see it's a little bit more complex. We have the old one, less than 10, and we have an OR operator here because we have two separate conditions and either of them could be met. But the second one is a between operator so it has to be in parentheses 
that's why we have prices greater than 10 and also it has to be less than 50 less than or equal to 50. We can see that DUI5 constructs the request URLs for us so we have very little to do. It is of course possible to construct more complex filters but we will leave that for later and again I highly recommend you check out odata.org or at least copy these URLs and just play with it add some filters sorts or you can combine both and again you can add another parameter format actually dollar format equals json and if you install a json plugin for your browser you can see it in a better format unlike this one here that will be all for this video and see you in the next one where we will talk about related resources, so navigation properties and grouping with OData version 2.